Biet Shabab is a small pottery village in the Lebanon, where red clay earthenware church bells were made in the mid-1960s. They also produced amphoras, which were made with the coiling method. But here in England, Jeremy Leach is going to recreate them on the potter's wheel. The amphora is to be thrown in sections, and to help ensure the consistency of size for each piece, the clay is weighed. Five pound lumps for the neck and base, and seven pound lumps for the two middle sections. The clay is centred on the bat, and brought up into a flower pot form. Eccentricity would create an imbalance at this early stage, and be magnified later on. So, reasonable symmetry now is essential. The frequent addition of water allows the clay to slide easily through the hands. The wheel used here is a leech type and provides good head heart hand coordination. It was Bernard Leach who first coined this phrase and it is partly epitomized in the balance symbol of the Far East and is perhaps an important spiritual to physical quality often lacking in our modern industrial society. It could be said that in life we often lack this head heart hand coordination. The potter, however, can incorporate this in his daily work. The next two pieces are from the seven pound lumps and will basically just produce two wide cylinders. Generally, the electric wheel does not give easily to head, heart, hand coordination, especially for the large pieces. Perhaps the kick wheel is the more arduous but ultimately, it gives the potter much greater control. It is important to notice here that the speed of the wheel is in accordance with the hand working on the pot. Head, heart, hand coordination continues through the entire process. The second piece is placed on top and inverted so the contact rim can be prepared for joining to the piece below. Amphora making however requires every bit of strength, instinct and knowledge from the potter. His hands are his tools and are used with precision. The crucial early centering of the clay needs a firm grip and the pressure of his fingers on the clay making continual adjustments as he works and shapes the evolving pot. The lip is turned true, while throughout the entire process the potter's left foot is continually kicking to keep the wheel revolving. The near completed pot is now removed from the wheel to the table for easy handling. Having fixed one end, the handle is then shaped while on the pot, curled over 
and finally stuck down at the bottom with a fish's tail smear. This is Biet Shabab, English style.